Well, hello. How are you? Hello, how's everyone doing? Hello, Freddy's. All right, welcome, welcome. Hello, Rolando. Welcome. Let's see. All right. Hello, Blanca. Hello, good evening. Good evening, welcome. Let me see. All right. Okay, so how was your weekend? Did you do anything special? Yeah. <laughs> How can you tell us? Saturday tell us? was my birthday. Hmm? On Saturday was my birthday. Oh, well, happy birthday, Yanari. Happy late birthday, right? I hope you had fun. Yeah, it was fun. All because right. I I stayed with my son and and and, and come my mother-in-law and my brother brother-in-law i think it's yellow right uh-huh brother-in-law yes that is correct and, and his wife mm -hmm. too and they are celebrate my birthday on sunday all right yeah Excellent. All right. What about you, Freddy's or Blanca? Um, I just rest all weekend because I don't have to go went to the work on Saturday, so I have time to rest mm -hmm. all the weekend. All right. So you have plenty of time, right? You didn't have to go to work, right? <laughs> What about you, Freddy? In my case, on Saturday, I had work. Uh, yesterday, I went shopping to Fremo to buy the, um, it's like, a, I don't know what, I, I actually haven't seen exactly the name, but it's to fix the roof. Because I don't know who's throwing some rocks on top of the roof and broke, and broke one. Oh, yeah, that's a tendency sometimes, right? Like, they throw rocks, and then when they... When they hit the roof, they crack or it make a, makes a hole, right? Make a hole, yeah. Yeah, so you have to seal it. Yeah, actually, let's see the walls. There was two holes and one crack. Mm. So you bought that, um, did you put like a like a cloth and then the the tar or? Yeah, it's it's like an in a like a asphalt. It's like black. Yeah. And yeah, I think it is. And then uh, I put like a, I don't know what's called the other thing, but it's like it's like leather. Yeah, it's like a piece of cloth or something you put, and then you add that uh, that tar, right? And then it heats yeah. up and it it stiffens. Yeah. It stays hard. Stays hard. Yeah, all right. Hello, um, Edwin. Hello, good evening. All right, welcome. Is everything better? The situation? Is it better? Yeah, everything better. Everything okay. better. Thank you for Great. the teacher. All right, no problem. All right. Hello, Beatriz. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How was your weekend? I'm very nice. 
Thank you. All right. All right. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear Thank that. You. All right. Then today we are still going to continue with Unit 3, right? And we are going to focus on uh, the components of branding, okay? the components of branding. And I have uh, some extra extra information that is in your in your book if you go to page 27 of your module of your manual i mean your manual you will see like at the bottom where it says the components at the bottom of the page the components of a strong brand right and then it is shown an infographic, right? Una infografía. Well, I'm going to show you that today. I'm going to show you that because there's a link right there. I'm going to show you that there. And we are also going to do page 27, the beginning of it. One, two, and three. And we are going to work on page 29. Page 29. We are not going to do page 28. Page 28 will be for tomorrow. Why? Because page 28, it deals with verb, causative verbs, causative verbs. And that is part one. And then you have causative, verb, causative verbs part two that will be on Wednesday when we finish the unit. Right? And that will be it. And then on Thursday, we are going to begin unit four unit four on Thursday. Don't forget that on Wednesday, you, you have to be finished with unit three homeworks in the platform, right? No esperemos hasta el último momento, please, all right? Remember, if you lose connection or the power goes out and you're like, oh, lo voy a hacer hasta el miércoles, then they will call you, okay? Administration will call you porque ellos, ellos están pendiente de eh, la plataforma. Remember that. Just the same way, así de la misma forma como están pendiente de la conectividad de la clase. All right. Remember that they have control of that. Ellos control, eh, la plataforma controla los minutos de conectividad. Like, for example, when I call your name, Digamos que yo llame su nombre, right? I call your name and you're here and I put you're here, but then you disconnect the rest of the class, right? Y se conectó como 15 minutos. Eso queda fijo, right? Ni yo lo puedo cambiar. That's already in the platform itself. So when that happens, quizás algunos se sorprendieron que le llamaron el hoy, ¿verdad? Some of you got a call. If you miss, they will call you, right? They will call you. And it stays, uh, it stays registered. So I know I see here uh, that made some phone calls, right? I know some of you had some emergencies, right? But they will still call you if you miss or if you only connect for a few minutes. All right? So just remember that. All right? I'm only trying to help you, give you the, be clear with the information. Okay, now the um some of you already finished everything right you don't have to worry about the platform because you already finished everything and when i mean everything i'm talking about everything the exams and everything right so congratulations to to those that already finished everything you don't have to worry about nothing only the to attend class and uh, do the survey. Remember at the end, uh, the last day of class, we will do a survey. Se hace una encuesta al final de la clase. Remember, do not miss that day. All right. Try not to miss that day. Desde hoy se lo digo, next week, next Wednesday, not this Wednesday, but the following Wednesday, we will do a survey. Es una encuesta de INSAFOR, and we will do it together in class, okay? So please remember not to miss that day, porque ya no la reponía yo. Ya no la puedo reponer. All right, so be uh, just attentive of that. 
All right, let me see. Hello, Jackie. Say good evening, right? Welcome, welcome. Now, when we were talking about, we were talking Friday, we were talking about branding, right? We were talking about branding, then we did some speaking activities, and I'm going to share with you the screen. But before I do that, I'm going to take the first attendance. All right. I hope everyone had a great weekend and continue to enjoy. Remember that this Wednesday, this Wednesday, we will finish Unit 3. All right. Abigail. Abigail. Okay, no answer. Beatriz. Beatriz. Hi, Beatriz. I see you, but I don't hear you, right? It's okay. I see you. You're waving at me, right? All right. I'm going to put you present. Okay. No problem. Thank you. All right. Blanca. All right. <laughs> Let me see. Brenda. I can activate the, the microphone. Sorry, <laughs> present. All right, all, right, all right. No problem. Brenda. Okay. No answer. Carlos. The teacher, I'm here. All right, excellent. Let me see. Diana. Present. All right. Awesome. Edwin. Present. Great. Flor. Flor. Okay, no answer. Francisco. Francisco, I see you. Hello, teacher. Right. No problem. I see you. Thank you. Freddy's. Yes, All right. Great. Glenda. Glenda. Okay. No answer. Iris. Present, teacher. Okay. Welcome. Jackie. Jackie. Okay. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Jarvin? Present, teacher. Okay. All right. Jennifer? I'm here, teacher. All right. Juan Jose? I'm here, teacher. All right, great. Miguel? I'm here, teacher. All right. Fabio. Fabio. Okay, no answer. Rolando. I'm here, teacher. I'm All here. right. Thank you. Janari. I'm here. All right. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Okay. Great. Okay, class, let's get ready with the, um, with the information that I told you a few minutes ago. And we will focus, we're still on unit, unit three, right? We're doing, uh, we're still doing branding. Can you read, please, Janari? Okay, people. Components of effective branding. Monday, October 11th, 2021. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. So we're going to be focusing on the components of effective branding. And we're also going to do a little bit more vocabulary also in, in regards to components. And Today is Monday, October 11th, 
2021 and this is class number 18. Remember there are a total of 25, 25 total. So we're almost, we're almost there. We're almost there. So you can have your little base off and then continue with the next module. Let me see for those that will continue. Let me see. Okay, go to your go to your book and please look at page 27. Page 27. And on Friday we did page 26, right? Page 26, dealing with product and personal branding. This case, we're going to start on page 27, and we are also going to do page 29, okay? 27 and 29. 27 and 29. All right, 28 we will do tomorrow. 28, because it deals with causative verbs. Causative verbs, that is the topic for tomorrow. Okay, let's begin now that you have found the page, and let me find someone who would like to read, who would like to read here the screen, Blanca. Okay, identify the brand components of well-known national brands. Okay, very good, very good. All right, Francisco, can you continue when it says number one? Okay. Uh, let me see. Is a wig brown? Yes. Uh, the, the screen shop. Oh, I have the 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 the, the, the manual. It's a wig brown. A good inve investment. Is is correct investment? Yes, yes sir. What happened? Thank you. What happened with Abraham? Happens. Yeah, happens. Very good. Happens, Abraham. Mm. Do not meet a customer expectative. Okay, what happens when? When? What happened when? I sorry. What happened when Abraham do not meet customer expectative? Mm, okay. Doesn't. 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 Yes, doesn't. It's a negative contraction. What happens when a brand doesn't meet consumers? Okay. Consumers, not customers. Yes. Consumers. Mm -hmm. Expectations. Okay. Expectation. All right. With an S at the end. Expectations. Okay. All right. So. What do you think, class? Is a weak brand a good investment? No, says some. No. Okay. What could be the consequences of having a weak brand? Your sales will go down. Okay, your sales will go down. Okay, very good, excellent. Any other input, information? You don't earn enough profit. Okay, you don't know you don't earn enough profit. Okay, very good. That is another perspective. Excellent, Beatriz. Anyone else? What could be some of the maybe the customer uh, look or their brands? All right. Okay. The customer looks at other brands, right? Okay, very good, Francisco. Yeah, because they might they might say, you know what, I'm going somewhere else, right? I'm going to another place. Okay, very good. Anyone else would like to share something? It could be the product could will be attractive, more attractive. Okay. Uh come to the others. Okay, that's another different perspective. All right. The attractiveness. Okay. It could be, right? It could be if it's, it's a weak brand, a good investment, right? 
right? Mm, okay. Um, what happens? Okay. What happens when a brand doesn't meet the consumer's expectations? Let's talk about feelings. Feelings, right? And when we talk about a product or a service, sometimes we let our feelings get involved, right? We let our feelings get involved. Sometimes we get happy or joy, right? But here we're talking in a negative way. This here we're talking about where it doesn't, it doesn't meet, for example, your expectations. What happens to you when, when you receive a product or a service that doesn't meet your expectations? What happens to you? How do you feel? Can you express to me your sentimental feelings in regards to this question? We feel disappointed and we feel like I waste my money and I don't get the benefit that I expect. Okay, very good. So you feel disappointed, disappointed, right? Okay, excellent, excellent. Yes, that is. Teacher, if I want to say the semi banner, there is. Is there um, a phrase in English? Can, can you repeat it again, please, Jennifer? Como gasté mi dinero en vano. Yes, there is. Okay. It's, this is the way you would say it. I wasted my money in vain. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Can you tell me? How about a spin? I... It's correct. Okay, uh, hold on real quick. Uh, Jennifer, can you repeat what, what, what I said in English? I waste my money in vain. I wasted my money. I wasted my money in vain. Very good. And I'm going to write it for you, okay? I wasted Thanks, teacher. my money in vain. Lo que ella dijo en español, gasté mi dinero en vano, right? In vain, this is the English phrase. You probably have never heard it. Can I escuchado before? Who has heard it before? This phrase. This word right here, in vain. Diana? You have? Yeah. Okay, great, great. Yeah. All right. So you can clarify what I just said. Very good. Now, someone had a question after Jennifer mentioned something. Who had a question or a comment? Orlando. Was it Rolando? Was that you? Francisco, I think it was. Who, who was it? Francisco. Francisco, Francisco or Rolando? Who was it? No, I I am. I was. Uh, ah, okay. My my question is, how about when you say spend? Apply for this exercise. Okay, you can say you can say spend also. Yeah, spend. I wasted. I spent. Right. I spend my money in vain. I spent my money in vain. You can say it that way also, right? That's correct. But you can say it, right? But here's the difference, Rolando. The difference in expression between the two, they both mean the same, right? They both have the same meaning, but there's a little bit of difference, Rolando. This one is more negative. More. It's a little bit more negative. Como estando, estamos dando una expresión negativa, wasted, it's a little bit more negative mm -hmm. than spent. Because spent is like you went and spent money. dinero. When, whether it's good or bad, you spent money. But when you say you wasted, es como una pérdida de tiempo, right? So like I, you can say I wasted my time, I wasted my money, I wasted my my gas. You're like you did. You're not really referring to something where it could be positive or negative. This is clearly negative. All right. So it goes in relation to this. 
in vano. Right? So that's why this one will be more accurate, although this is also not incorrect, also. Okay, Rolando? Except okay. Thank you. All right. So this one just hits a little bit more harder, right? Like uh, Jennifer said it, right? In vano. Lo quiso decir de forma negativa, right? So thank you for asking, Rolando. All right. You're welcome. Welcome. All right. Let me see. And what about anyone else? What happens when you buy something and it doesn't meet your expectations? What do you do? How do you feel? We heard Jennifer. Can I hear someone else? Another volunteer? Do you get mad? Do you get happy? It depends how much how much money I waste in, in the product. <laughs> okay. If I only if I only waste one dollar, uh, it doesn't matter. But when in the in the case that I waste ten, well, well, one hundred dollars, that's sad. I I get depressed. I think. Oh, okay. So you get depressed. Okay, you get sad. Any other adjectives? Mad. Mad. All right. Okay. Do you have a point? One dollar for a cucurta, for one cucurta, and it's not so good. I, I feel bad too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A quarter, a quarter of candies. All right. The same. You have only one, one quarter. All right. <laughs> you buy about candies. Oh, it's not good. <laughs> okay. Let me ask a question. And I want to see if anyone can be honest, right? Have you ever been so, like Janari said, right? You buy something and you're like, you wasted so much in this food or a product, but let's stay with food. And when you get it, it's like, what, right? Oh, come on, man. No, no puede ser, right? It can't be, right? And you order a fish, Usted pide un pescado de 10 dólares y le traen un chimbolito, right? Or, <laughs> or have you ever tried buying something like, ya nadie se, pupusa, uh, dollar pupusa, right? You expect like a big one like that y le salen con una así, right? Menos de las que venden de dos coras, right? So, un centavo. Right? So, how do you, have any of you complained or went to the, to the manager or something and said, come on, really, right? Really, this this is what this is your service. Uh, how, how many of you have actually complained? Ponendo queja o algo así, right? Hey, honestly, say, honestly. Can you say in this case that you feeling cheated? Ah, very good, very good expression right there. Um, who was that, Juan Jose? Yes. Very good. Yes, you feel cheated. Yeah, that's a very good, very good uh, uh, adjective there. Very good expression. Very good, yeah. But have you ever complained to the owner or or the manager? Has anyone ever complained? Or for something that uh, doesn't taste right? For example, the juice or, or chat or whatever it's like it tastes sour the agrio yeah it's bad teacher okay. how how do you say estafa okay <laughs> i've been swindled swindled right uh, swindled. swindled right thanks i've been swindled and there's a there's a there's another word. It's there's two types of words, all right? Para lo que usted comentó eh, for estafa. I use swindle because it's dealing with food and stuff like that, right? But in el ámbito judicial or in in the criminal justice system, ya estafa ya con, con la, with money or stuff like that, it will be fraud, 
okay, ah. in el ámbito legal, it will be fraud, okay, I don't know if, you, if I'm making, I hope you can understand where I'm going, I'm going to write both, fraud, to me, in my perspective, is eh, estafado o defraudado, como una fraude, right, you can also the, use this fraud, this is more legal, esto es más legal, right, you fraud, all right, but swindle, es más como lo que dijo ahí con las pupusas, se siente estafado, estafado, right? So that's swindle. That's when you, what I mentioned, swindle. I don't know if any of you have heard this word before. ¿Alguien la ha escuchado antes? Swindle. Swindle. Or fraud. And cheater, cheater, cheater. Yeah, you can, you also use the other one, cheated, right? Cheated. Right? Similar. It's similar, right? But if we look at um if we look at the la palabra que cae definitivamente con estafa sería swindle. For me. Right. For me. And then cheat it just goes with everything, right? You cheat it, right? When boyfriend and girlfriend, right, cheat on you, right? You can use this one right here, right? Tiene más uso or cheat it with different areas of life. But swindle is specifically stuff. All right. Okay, very good, very good. Excellent. Anyone else? Okay, has anyone ever ever talked with a manager or something? Anyone? No? Nunca tenido el problema. No, no. No, I, I never. Never have? Okay. Had that problem. Okay. Teacher? Yes? I used to use the word to rip off. Ah, rip off, right? Yeah, that's another uh, common word. Rip off, right? A rip off, right? It's similar to being cheated, right? Rip off or swindle also. Rip off. It's a rip off. It's an it's an expression that is used in the American culture, right? When you pay for something that you feel is not worth it, right? It's como un engaño, right? It's a ripoff. Where you say, you see like something, for example, a product that is like this, like, uh, like she mentioned earlier, the classmate about the pupusa, right? Like Janari, right? It's a pupusa this small and you're paying a dollar fifty, right? That's a ripoff. That's a ripoff, right? It actually happens more online when you buy something online than when you get it, when the delivery guy gives it to you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly, right? Exactly, yes, when you buy products online, right? So that you, you, you don't get to see the actual product until you get it in your home. Yeah. All right, yeah, that's true. That's, uh, that's totally true. All right, um, let me see. Or fake advertisement. Has anyone ever gone to a restaurant and you see outside the hamburgers or the hot dogs with everything on and then when you go inside, nothing close, right? Ni cerca el producto, right? Not even close, right? All squash, right? Thin meat. And it's like, oh man. All right, let's continue. Let me see. Mm. Diana, you and you and Rolando. Okay. Um, watch this TV ad. There are selling shoes that make you float like a feather. Feather. They are very pop feather. They are very popular at work. Very good. I will never get a pair of dogs. They are too expensive. All right. I wouldn't need it either, but a brand that delivers what it promises makes customers buy, it regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. Okay. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what uh the what all the fuss 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 yes fuss fuss, fuss is about 
Okay, very good, very good. Diana, can you read this sentence again, the first one? I wouldn't either. But a, I wouldn't either, but a brand that delivers what it promises. Aquí, aquí, makes right here. Promises. Prom promises. Very good. That was the word. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now, Rolando, you read something here also. Fuzz. What is fuzz? Fuzz. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So it says, I will buy a pair to see what all the fuzz is about, right? Like we say in, in the Salvadorian words, todo el escándalo que está afuera, right? All the fuzz. That's what it means, right? What is all this fuzz about? Now, a fuzz could be also not just a scandal. It could be just a lot of things that people are talking about. It's, it's a hot topic like uh, Bitcoin, right? All the fuzz, right? All the, online and people sending messages. That's another way to say fuzz, right? Uh, algo que está como, whoa, what's going on? It's, it's like hot, a hot topic, right? Buy a pair to see what all the fuzz is about. Now, when will we see like a fuzz related with shoes? When do you think we get to see or express ourselves in a fuzz? When can, when can we see a fuzz when we're talking about shoes? For the price. Okay, very good. It could be a price or Excellent, Rolando, that's one. Or um, when, when do we see a fuzz where, where there's long lines and uh, you mentioned the price, right? But what else? When do we get to see a fuzz? Maybe not just shoes, maybe you can choose another product. Maybe it will be an offer. Okay, an offer, very good, a promotion or something. Okay, very good, anything else? On Black Friday. Okay, Black Friday. Anything else? And when the new product comes out. Excellent. That's what I'm looking for, right? Very good, right? When when there's a new product that will come out in the market, right? For example, if they say the new Samsung, right, will come out in 2022 in January, right? And everybody like, Yo, we have to save money for January. I want the new phone. I want the new phone, right? It tiene ocho cámaras, right? Or whatever, right? <laughs> whatever, right? One, three million storage, uh, whatever, right? All these different, uh, uh, different appearance, different, uh, maybe different system, right? Or different storage capacity. And that is what we can express in relation to fuss, right? Fuss. Now, look at, uh, look at part three. I think you can do this on your own. All you have to do is, can you read the instructions, please? Um, it is. Okay, teacher. Um, part work three. Yes. Yeah. Look at the converse at the conversation and complement mm. complement it. Mm. Complete. Sorry. Complete, complete the sentences below. Excellent. Very good. Well done. So it is already read the instructions for us. It says, look at the conversation and complete the sentences below. Okay, this is based on the conversation here between Andrea and Vincent, between Diana and Rolando, right? So can you, I'll probably give you like two minutes to do that. Two, three minutes. Because number three, uh, it's more analysis, question number three. So I will give you more. I will call on some of you to give me that opinion and also give me the answer for one and two. Do not send it to me. You, don't, you do not have to send it to me, okay? This is just small activity for you to do right there 